Hi guys, so this is going to be a walkthrough slash speedrun showing how to get a fully maxed out sorcerer in under two hours. And we're going to use it, we're going to be using mostly melee. You can use spells more than I am, but it's going to take longer. I don't know if it's going to be really any easier with magic. It might be, some things might be easier with magic, but yeah, we're just going for whatever is the quickest. Now by fully maxed out, I mean 50 intelligence, the best staff in the game fully upgraded, if you're in the DX9 version, you won't be able to get the best staff right away, but I'm going to show an alternative that's not quite as good, but it's still pretty good. It's, and then there'll be like, you'll get multiple copies of Soul Spear. Not really sure what else. Oh yeah, rings. We're going to have rings for both uh, melee and spell casting. And we're killing him because he dropped the armor he drops gives you more souls from killing enemies. If you don't want to kill him, you can farm for this set in Seldora. The infected spider guys drop it. Now if you want to buy armor, if you want if you're going to be using a shield, you should definitely buy the shield he's selling. Well, if you're planning on having 20 strength or higher, the great shield he sells is really good. If you're the other shields, they're they're better options. You, I mean, if you if you want to buy them, if you they're not bad shields, but there's you can get better versions pretty early in the game so so I'm probably gonna be doing some safety strats just because I don't want to have to reset so if you, the key to like resting this bonfire you want to trigger his attack that way you have time to rest before you, you get there oh yeah and I'm gonna be editing but I'll show my in-game time at the end of this video so you can see that it did take as long as I'm saying it's taking and what I'm gonna be doing after this video is I'll do a bonus video which it'll just be to get some extra stuff including if you're in the DX9 version the best staff you get it at Dragon Shrine there's a Ferris Lockstone contraption towards the beginning I'm sure you can look it up if you don't want to wait for me to finish this uh, we're also gonna get Crystal Soul Spear which you you can wait until New Game Plus if you don't want to use any bonfire aesthetics yeah the thing about bonfire aesthetics is they carry through to uh, multiple new game plus so it's up to you whether you want to do that yeah I've been screwing that up a lot recently I don't know why so we're doing this for a few reasons one it's just we don't have to pay the souls to her for opening that thing plus you get souls for killing her the other thing is she's going to she won't invade oh two Damn, she's doing the melee a lot. Yeah, that can throw you off if she... Oh. That's not fun. So, now the Sublime Bone Dust, it's going to be different depending on which version you're in. This is only in the Skull of the First Sin. With the Estus Flasks, it's about 50-50. 50 percent are the same in both versions and then like half of them are different. But most things we're getting, they're gonna be the same in both versions. So if you if you only have one you don't have Scar of the First Sin, don't worry, you'll be able to you able to do this. And think speaking of safety strats, I think I am just gonna level up here. I was originally gonna consider uh, waiting, but yeah. I like getting endurance and these up to 10. Now we do need to save 10,000 souls because Melentia will give you this ring um, after you after you spend 10,000 souls you talk to her and she gives you a ring that increases the souls you get from leveling. And if I'm going by an item that doesn't necessarily mean it's not worth picking up it's just I'm trying to do this quickly Yeah, I forgot I was going to need my weapon out, so I had to take a second to have it. Yeah, if you, um, if you have your left hand weapon, if you wield your left hand weapon two handed, you pick up items quicker. Okay. 
And as you can see, I, I don't really have this planned out too well. Been having a lot of problems with this recently. Yeah. Alright. Whatever. We need to go. I wanted to do some other things anyway, so. Yeah, the items will be different here. The Estus Shard. Well, I'm guessing if you're the DX... The Estus Shard in the DX9 version, it's just the... It's in the room with the bonfire on the second floor. The enemy placement will be different here. But if you're in Skull of the First Sin, you're not gonna... None of these enemies will aggro. If you didn't take Sorcerer... You know, even if you took Sorcerer, you get you get an Amber Herb here, so it's... Now, if I did... If I had cho chosen Sorcerer, I might not have came here. I mean, you do get the Aromatic Ooze, but I'm not sure if you really get as much time. Um, not I don't know if that's really worth grabbing, but we got it. Um, I'm gonna grab the Amber Herb. I don't know if we really need it, but if I was dra grabbing the Drang Lake set, which it's good to grab, I just, it's not essential for what we're doing. Oh, he's buffing. Oh, okay. I figured he'd be doing the foot thing. So the weapons we're going to be using is the Rapier and Large Club. There are a lot of other... I mean, not Large Club, Great Club. There are a lot of other good weapons. These are just... Well, you'll see why they're useful soon enough. Oh, I forgot to equip the ring. Well, I think we only missed out on like 2,000 souls, I, but it's still... I mean, it's a good thing I remember now, but... Alright, so if you're not going to be doing this, um, doing the cheese strat, some of the things useful for fighting him Having decent agility, like, there's different cutoff points that affect your iframes, like, nine, I, you might want to check the wiki, but I think it's like 92, 96, 99, and 105. So, you want decent agility, unless you have a heavy weapon under 30%, equip load, which will increase your roll distance. Mace is a good early game weapon. Yeah, you know, I'd actually rather be using the short sword than this, but I don't want to... I'm going to be switching weapons soon enough. It is good to learn how to fight Pursuer. Like, that one drops Twinkling Titanite, which is kind of rare. Early game, unless you go to the DLCs. It also gives a decent amount of souls, but... Uh, no, this could be bad. So I think I'm gonna play it safe and bone out here. But, I, I was thinking about going to McDuff. Alright, so we need this bow for the DLC. 
We're going to be grabbing some items in the DLC. I think I have two of these. If I pick the one up in the well. And if you're in... If you're in Scar of the First Sin, you need to get the key to the DLC, which we'll be doing. So maybe we'll do the, the Rotten now. So yeah, I would like 92 agility. We are going to need to get attunement up. But... Yeah, I guess we'll do that. Oh, right, the rapier. Well, you know what? We'll just, um... We'll just drop down and then we'll... I don't know. Satisfied? Oh. Yeah, since we're here, we're just gonna... We'll do it. Oh, I guess I could have gone to the rats and then warp back to the... I don't know if I'm going to do the rats in this video or not, but it's going to help us get faint stone, which is important for infusing. Okay, so... I might, I'm going to do this. Oh, okay, that... So this is a... they nerfed this a lot. Some things they made harder in Skull of the First Sin, this is... There used to be twice as many of these, they were, and they were on both sides. Um, I guess we're just going to do this now. I... I want to make sure I can do everything in under two hours, but... I don't want to have to come back here. Although I guess we're if we if we we are doing the rats we would have had to come back here. Yeah, I just remembered where I was gonna get attunement up to thirty two. That way you get extra copies of Soul Spear. But I just raised adaptability a bunch, so I'm not really sure what to, what I'm going to do. Oh yeah, and if you're going to be using Pyromancy, unless you're just going to be using Poison Mist and Flash Sweat, Toxic Mist, you're going to want to use the regular Pyromancy Flame. Oh, I just remembered we are going to be getting the regular one, because we have to go to... Okay, so I didn't really need to pick that up. Oh, I should have equipped the Poison Moss. And you can, you can use a Torch. But it'll it'll increase your the enemy's aggro range, but it'll also increase your lock on. So if you're using spells, it might actually be like for the giants, we're going to be using torch. Plus, if you don't know your way around here, I mean, I I have some trouble getting through here without a yeah. Screw that guy. Yeah, I don't know if this way it's safer in some ways, but. Actually, last night when I was doing a run, I died to him, so. So yeah, the great, we're gonna use, be using the rapier as the main weapon, but. I really need all these things on my hotbar. Alright, so we're going to be going to McDuff's, get some shards. Hopefully we don't get invaded by Forlorn. He does invade occasionally. It's just a warning. Oh. Yeah, this this is actually... Fire arrow is going to be useful. So this is less to hurt him and more just... So he doesn't hit the barrels and explode you. But I mean, if you do... If you do manage to kill him... Might as well just kill him since we're... It's already like low health but that's just a bonus to be able to kill him that's it's not if he swings his weapon he explodes the barrels some weapons do that like ultra great swords do um, I'm not really sure what mainly heavy weapons oh 
I hear Doge. So this is a really good hammer. Problem is it uses Twinkling Titanite. And we need it for the staff we're going to be using. I was thinking about buying some Titanite from him, but I don't know. Oh, we got two of these. Alright, this should be enough. We'll save the other one for later. Oh, we only needed one more. But we're going to be getting more shards later, so... No, let's do... Might as well do Mo No Man's War first. It's going to be easier. So I... I normally don't do this, so I don't know how... I don't really know exactly where I'm supposed to stand. But I want to give it a shot. I... Probably should practice this another... Oh. Well, I didn't want to... Actually, I didn't want to... Oh. Does that work? Oh, it doesn't work on the dogs. Alright, well... This is good if you want to use hexes early, but we're not going to, so... I don't know why I'm even saving any of this stuff, but... Yeah, I have a unusual control setup, which makes it... ...difficult to aim with a bow quickly. So, I usually just ring the bell. This really isn't... I wasn't planning on doing this, actually. But it... I actually do... wouldn't mind having this. Yeah, since we don't have the strength requirements, we're not actually doing much damage. But it was enough to kill the crystal lizard. So he's going to, after you kill Flexile Sentry, he's going to come back to Majula. Oh. So, I forgot. Yeah, I forgot about that. Well, I didn't forget about it, I just forgot that I didn't have the intelligence. So, I guess we'll just... I guess we'll kill the Rotten now, and then... Oh, right. Great magic weapon, I almost forgot about that. Once he gets under 50 health, you gotta be a little bit more cautious. So he does the AoE thing. Oh, 
Yeah, the one downside to the rapier is it it doesn't have the reach as other uh, thrusting weapons or thrustings. Yeah, thrusting swords or. Oh yeah, and there's a chest we just passed, but we're not gonna Well yeah, actually if you're if you're in the other version, DX9 version, you you are gonna wanna that's where the sublime bone dust is. Oh, which reminds me. Okay, um Get that up to Thank you kindly. Guess we'll do this now. So I think we'll try and kill Flexile Sentry without talking to him again. Oh yeah, so the item in here, that's actually important. We we definitely want to pick that up. So I think you might have to give her your clothes if you want her to come back. Uh, let's just do it because we, I mentioned earlier, we're going to, we're going to be doing a bonus video. We'll do one, we'll do one video where we like just pick up the extra stuff and finish new game but then we're also going to then after that i think i'll do one more video of just new game plus play through with maxed out sorcerer i don't know if we'll maybe we'll pick up a few few weapons that are good maybe a, a infused weapon i don't know i don't really want to spend a long time preparing but i do want to show where to get things so we're not going to be going to the iron craft the iron king dlc in this video but in the video after this, I do want to go there because there you can get a lot of good crafting materials. Now, as far as other good weapons, Grand Lance is probably my favorite. It's a really good weapon. It it has high base damage, so like like Great Club, both weapons have high base damage, which means it's good for pretty much any build. And if you don't have the cat ring, you'll like lose half your health. So, like, I could have easily died. Oh, wait, do I? What's, um... Oh. I knew I raised the tunin, but I wasn't sure how much. Alright, so, will hitting this distract them? I hope that's... I hope that works. But we'll find out in a second. So, the reason why I saved the soul of the rotten... So I was going to use it here, but I ended up having, I ended up having enough, I ended up having souls left over, which I could have used for level up, but I figured I'd just save it for here because it'd be quicker. Okay, so you just kind of go diagonal from the Chloranthi ring, and this is like, Yeah, that's the chest we want, but you have to be careful, because there's a bunch of guys as you... Well, I think pretty much everyone knows this, but... Maybe not everyone knows that there's a good item in that chest, so... This will increase the casting speed of your spells. Now, we are going to get a better version of this when I go through New Game Plus. We are, we'll be using some bonfire aesthetics, but since I was gonna do a New Game Plus with this character, we'll just wait for that. So what you want to do with her, she can be kind of tricky if you don't know the strategy. You want to get behind her, and you want her to swing her tail at you. And then you... Yeah, okay, and there's like a safe spot up here. So 
So I think I'm gonna grab this bonfire here. Cause we wanna we wanna get this faint stone. I was, might as well just pop the souls here. Oh, I just remembered we need to do this first before we warp back. Oh yeah, so these guys they they drop chunks. They also drop some infusion stones, mundane stone, magic stone. Unfortunately, those paths aren't really that good. Um, I mean, there's occasional uses. Oh yeah, and their armor is also good if you're doing a tank build. Yeah, so this is part of the reason why I wanted the Great Club. Not that we necessarily need to upgrade it, but it does work pretty good against Freya. Rapier is fine, you don't need it. Uh, if you want to raise decks, the Hand Axe or Battle... No, Hand Axe and Bandit Axe are both good. You only need four strength to wield the Hand Axe. Two-handed. So, for a sorcerer, you only need to level up strength once, and you're... But I would recommend getting strength to nine so you can use the uh, bandit axe, which is better in my opinion. Okay. We got intelligence up. Oh yeah, I want to get attunement up just to get higher agility. So I mentioned before, I re leveled up adaptability more than I needed to. So I don't know if I'm going to get attunement up to 32, but yeah, I think I think it's enough just for me to say that you getting 32 attunement will give you an extra cast of soul spear. I think I'm not 100% about crystal soul spear. So yeah, I don't I don't know if there's a safe place to use the bow without getting hit. I I mean for me, if you're if you're quick if you have a normal control setup, you'll be able to do it fast enough. But for me... Alright, so... Hopefully he'll come back. If not... We can just... Well, good thing we lowered the shortcut. Yeah, if you're in the DX9 version, you can't do that shortcut, but it's quick enough without the shortcut. I mean, it's quick enough to get back there. So I'm not great at fighting him, but we are kind of overpowered, which actually means I'm kind of doing some stupid mistakes just because I'm overconfident, but yeah, we didn't need to pick up the Dark Pyromancy Flame. Now the Dark Pyromancy Flame, it will do more damage, but only if you're fully hollowed. So unless you, unless you plan on going through the game with was it the Ring of Binding equipped at all times? It, oh, this is where that... Oh, I should have saved the souls for this elevator. I, f I forgot. I guess we can pop these little ones. I usually like saving the little ones just so I... If I need a little bit extra before I level up. You know what? Let's, let's grab this. I'll make up for the souls we missed from not wearing the silver ring against the lost giant. Last giant. I always forget which one it is. So I, I don't know how, if we're making good time or not, I haven't checked yet. I'll, next time there's a load screen, I'll do, I have to tab out, so. Oh yeah, and there's a guy, exploding guy, back there, so. I realized recently I don't need to kill him, which is nice. Yeah, his weapon blows up the barrels.
Oh. Really? Okay. Yeah, and you see there my weapon didn't reach him. So yeah, that's the one one downside to the rapier. But it is it's a very good weapon other than the 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 reach. I think even for a strength build, the rapier might do more than the S dock. I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure about that. If you install the first sin, these guys won't aggro, but the X9 version they will. I all right, so let's see if this guy's back. Okay, um, I guess you do have to talk to him with 10 intelligence. Well, as you can tell, I, I don't really have things planned out too well. All right, since we're not using the red tear stone ring, I'm gonna get vigor up so we don't get one shotted by the rotten in New Game Plus or with the bonfire aesthetic. Yeah, I kind of wanted to wait until you have the Staff of Wisdom to kill the giants, but this, it might actually be better just to do it now. Oh, right. Fried out this stuff. Oh, no. Yeah, I guess might have been better to come from the other bonfire. That way we could have burned an aesthetic first. It would have also been nice to have more than two minutes left on the torch, but... These guys get stuck in the passageway. That's why I'm running back. Did we get invaded? Oh, this is gonna be really nice. I don't know if this is allowed in speedruns, but... Oh, we'll get to see what see what the time is, too. So I think we're making okay time. I'm not... Yeah, so you kill one of the giants, you load up your game. Now, if you've been invaded, you won't obviously be able to do that. L let me... I, let's see if we even need to remove our equipment. We should have enough health now that we're fine. In the DX9 version, you didn't... You didn't need the key. The key. Well, you needed keys to get to the DLC, but they were automatically added to your inventory. Okay, so this, the Witch Tree Branch, if you're in the DX9 version, you're going to be using that because you're not going to be getting Staff of Wisdom. This spell, mostly not useful, but for Skeleton Lords, it actually works pretty well, which... I don't know if we'll be doing you even using it though. For the rotten a lot of bosses, I mean it's is really nice to have good real distance. Now agility is more important in my opinion, but it definitely does it does help. I really wish that invasion bar didn't cover up your item what you have equipped in your items. So I'm not really that great at fighting the Rotten, at least not killing him quickly. I'm decent at not dying, but um, I need to watch some speedruns. It's been a while since I've really watched speedruns. When Dark Souls 3 came out, I took a break from Dark Souls. I mean, I didn't play Dark Souls 3 either. Okay, that was unfortunate. I didn't think I was in range of that. So we're, we're going to the DLC for two reasons. One is Flynn's Ring, which is especially important if you're using infused weapons, or um, elemental infused weapons, because with Ring of Blades, you don't get the full bonus. You only get half if you're using an elementally infused weapon. Now, if it's a weapon with natural elemental damage that hasn't been infused with an element, you'll still get the full bonus from Ring of Blades. But the other thing about Flynn's Ring is it's lighter and gives you more 
It gives you as much as Ring of Blades plus two, which... There, there's a way to get Ring of Blades plus two, like, not too difficultly from what I've read. Alright, we'll, we'll just, we're just gonna buy this charge from him. Oh, we don't have the souls. Oh, right, I need my, I need the bow. Oh, I don't have the cat ring on. Okay, I think that's what we want. Alright, do I have everything? I, mean, I probably don't need any of this, so Dora said. I just don't want to take, I don't want to have to take the time to re equip it. Yeah, see, I'm I'm just slow. Most things I can do relatively well with my control setup, but... Yeah, so urine is actually better than the alluring skulls. Uh, dude, don't do that. And I didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I pressed the wrong button. There we go. Alright, so this is where we need the cat ring. I mean, you can survive that drop, but it's probably it's not a good idea. So you walk over this thing, which gets the spikes out. Yeah. So I don't know if we're going to be infusing anything, but I guess I'll grab them. So one of the weapons I was thinking about using for New Game Plus is the Iron King Hammer, which I don't know if it's that great of a weapon. You're probably better off having a Dragon Tooth infused with fire, but... It's a weapon I've never... I used it, like, very brief, briefly with a character, but since fire... it scales... fire scales with intelligence. So I'd like to do this kind of thing with other builds, like, under two hours set up, so... Uh, well, the obvious one is a f 50 faith build with similar kind of thing, but then maybe also, like, a... Spells only, pure magic. That'll be harder to do under two hours, but I... Hopefully I can come up with a decent route. Yeah, that's why I'm being cautious, because of that. Oh, I got two of these. All right, well that that actually saves time. Uh, if I can, yeah, menuing is kind of difficult. I'm I have to like switch the keyboard. If you're gonna be killing Vendrick, um, don't use this. Do I need anything else? Hopefully not. Oh yeah, we need. We're gonna be using. We need that for Crystal Soul Spear. I'll try and get attunement up to max now. Alright, so this is why we picked up the Lloyd's Talismans. Now, if you're in the DX9 version... Well, no, actually, it's still good to do, because there's... 
You get effigies, and you'll need the Lloyd's Talisman because the mimic is only for the only scholar of the first sin. I don't know how that curved it. Did he jump down here? If he did, I'm gonna be on the. Okay. <laughs> I would have. Oh, we don't have Soul Spear yet. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, yeah. The DX9 version. That's... Uh, Esther Shard, but Scar the First Sin is just a set of armor. Oh wait, we want to do Yearn. So this is pretty heavy. There we go. Okay. So, if you're in Skull of the First Sin, you can have a torch out. The spiders won't attack you. But we need to use a club. We don't need to. I mean, you can just use the club, warp back, and then go light the bonfire if you want. Well, let's, well, let's grab that just in case. Okay, so this, I don't know if I'm actually going to be using this, but I do want to show it's pretty important for if you're doing a magic build. Oh yeah, and these are the guys that dropped the Tseldora set. You see I just picked up the cap. Alright, so you smash these. jump up. This gives you two extra attunement slots. Alright, so I think I'm gonna clear the way before I pick up the... Oh, we can try, try it in here. Oh yeah. Yeah, the staff hasn't been upgraded. The other thing is, we don't have the clear bluestone ring on, which... The clear bluestone ring increases cast speed, it, otherwise it casts really slowly. Um, well, let's just to be safe. Yeah, plus there's... Is he still... Dude. He really doesn't aggro. Okay. Well, that wasn't. That was unfortunate. Yeah, this, this staff hasn't been upgraded, so... It's actually a good staff, trust me, it's just... Plus, Freya has magic resistance.
I would use the charcoal pine resin, but I didn't have a I don't have it equipped to my inventory and I I'd actually like to kill some of the rest of the spiders, but and you want to space the damage out on both heads because if one head falls well I guess with this build it, it'll be fine because you can use magic on their main head but you won't be able to do the laser trick I don't know if we actually need this extra, but if you want pyromancy seeds and black knight great sword, or ultra great sword and great fireball or something like that, then you do want to get the key from that guy. I think you also need to burn that bonfire if you want to do Kale's quest line. Okay, I'm going to buy these and so I don't forget. Okay, we got just enough to fully... Oh wait! Oh! No! Oh! All right, well, uh, well, you know, it, it's fine, actually. I was thinking about buying some more sorcery. Yeah, let's do that. It's going to be useful for Freya, I think. Young pupil. Oh, that's right. Okay. Um, I picked this up. I almost never use it. Yeah, so if you're going to do hexes, or... You let dog take control. Look, dog. Yeah, we're doing this mainly for the Hexer Hood. You can buy it from Valencia. You can also just... If you don't want to... If you're not planning on using hexes, but you don't want to kill him, you can just get your intelligence and faith up to 20. Talk to him then respec. Right, we, and we want all this stuff. I don't... I would really like the clear bluestone ring though. So... Oh, I, okay. We were gonna... I'm gonna do... I'll just do this now. I actually don't really... We should be fine with the clarinthy ring as far as... whatever. Oh, great. It's just your stamina regen decreases the higher your equip load it is, so... You know, I'm just gonna let, let myself die. So this is the sublime bone dust. I usually skip it because these guys come, but I don't want to have to come back here, especially since we're going to be using a bonfire aesthetic and they're going to be much tougher when we come back. Oh yeah, so the magic mace, if you don't want to raise your strength up as much to use the great club, magic mace is a really good choice. And you can get it right at the beginning of the game, so. That's the key to the third bonfire in this area. And if you don't land on that top thing, you'll take fall damage. Unless you have the cat ring on. I mean, you might still take fall damage, but... Oh, 
Oh, I missed. That's not good. Well. Oh, uh, okay. Well, let me, um... Here's, so here's Soul Vortex. It's really good for this fight. Obviously, we have kind of a cheese trets cheese strat, but so they're block they're blocking a lot of these attacks. That's why it's not killing them. But yeah, it's fun to use for this fight. It's pretty much the only time I ever use it. And you can also just... <laughs> We're pretty overpowered for this point in the game. That's good for now. Yeah, so I said I was going to do this. We'll just have even better rolls, I guess. After the two hour setup, which basically you get fully upgraded staff, weapon, soul spear, crystal soul spear. Actually, two copies of soul spear. So we'll have eight with the hexer. Oh, yeah, we got to buy the hexer hood. Forgot about that. Alright, so we need the hexer hood. It's going to increase our increased number of casts by by 10%, but it rounds up, so it could increase your cast up to 100%, which is really nice. So yeah, this only works in Scar of the First Sin, as far as the spiders. They will attack you, even if you have a torch out in the old version. I would have preferred they just had less spiders than this stupid cheese... Oh, okay, we can... Alright, so you can use a Homeward Bone or a dark sign and it'll it'll reset these I mean it'll reset the enemy placement what was I gonna equip oh right the yeah Frey's weak to fire so so now we're gonna have enough titanite to upgrade the rapier to plus 10 but I would like to use different weapons in new game plus cuz I use I'm using these weapons just cuz they're some of the fastest ones but yeah, I, it does get kind of boring. The reason why I got interested in speedruns is just I like playing through the game with a lot of different builds and weapons. Oh. oh this sucks. I think I should have the rapier equipped. Alright, buddy. Oh yeah, and there that's that item right there. Uh it's the Simpleton Spice, so I mean that way you won't have to raise You won't have to raise raise your intelligence above 50 if you use those, but I guess I could have done that. Maybe I... I don't know if I'll respec or what I'll do. I haven't really decided. It's nice we can one-shot the spiders with the great soul arrow. Oh. And yeah, this is New Game Plus, so... Um, it hurts when you get hit. I'm, I want to get, take care of these spiders. They're a nuisance.
Yeah, before I learned the laser trick, I had a lot of problems with this boss. This is bad. We're probably dead. Yeah. Yeah, you can't roll when you get hit. I'm considering just going with the rapier. Upgrading it to plus. We're just going to upgrade. We're going to do that. I don't know if I'm saving time or not, but... Because I can't use this. There's that guy blocking the ladder. Which is another unfortunate thing. Oh, we can attune another... Wait, did I not... I didn't pick up the the soul spear. The reason why I'm going on the railing is so that big guy doesn't get me. I'm not doing it just to be MLG. Yeah, okay, I picked up the wrong item and I wasn't even paying attention to. And I'm gonna go back just to get the Hexer's Hood because then I'm gonna forget otherwise. All right, so we put this on. So now I have three casts of soul spear. Wait to a second while I have six casts. So this should make things a lot more manageable. Yeah, he has a lot of health. Alright, so hopefully we won't get invaded and we can use a bright bug. Do I have... let's... let's put this on. Get some extra health. So I want to take out the spiders before I... Oh, we only got two minutes left on the torch. But yeah, I want to take out the spiders before I buff my weapon. Yeah, you see Freya has a decent amount of magic resistance. So after we kill this, you, if you want an extra Fragrant Branch of Yore, you can, you can kill that guy again, but I'm just going to use a Homeward Bone. So you can also make Moonlight Greatsword with this soul that Freya drops on New Game Plus. Yeah, so Crystal Soul Spear takes two attunement slots. Alright, so let's, um... It should be under two hours. If not, I think I'm close enough that... Well, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do if this is over two hours. Oh, wow, okay. Just barely under, good. Alright, so we have... Three casts of s Crystal Soul Spear. Six casts of... S oh, wait! Oh, okay. Let's just get attunement up to 32, then I can... All right, um, as I was saying, four casts of 
Crystal Soul Spear, eight casts of regular Soul Spear, Great Air, Great Soul Arrow, Great Heavy Soul Arrow. We can get more of these other ones, but Staff of Wisdom, the best staff in the game, up to plus five. Rapier, we got two weapons to plus ten: the Rapier and the Great Club. Have a bunch of Petrified Dragon Bone if we want to upgrade a boss weapon, which we are going to for New Game Plus. So anyway, thanks for watching. Oh wow, that was... Oh, are you fucking kidding me?